viruses are doing mysterious things everywhere. AI can help researchers understand what they're up to in the oceans and in your gut. Welcome, I hope you enjoy then subscribe and like. Viruses represent a significant yet enigmatic force within microbial ecosystems, influencing environments from oceans to human guts. Their ability to infect, kill, and manipulate cells makes them critical to study, but their extraordinary diversity and rapid evolution pose challenges for researchers. Many viruses harbor genetic sequences that encode proteins previously unseen, complicating efforts to understand their roles and impacts. Microbial communities, particularly those involving viruses, are notoriously difficult to study in the lab due to the complexity and diversity of natural environments. Traditional laboratory conditions cannot replicate all the factors influencing microbial success or failure. To address this, systems biologists often employ a technique called metagenomics, which involves sequencing all the DNA present in a sample, such as fecal matter, to identify viral DNA and annotate its genes. This annotation process helps researchers understand the potential functions of viruses and identify different viral types by comparing new sequences to those in public databases. However, the volume of viral sequences being discovered far outpaces the current capacity to annotate them, resulting in many studies relying on only a small fraction of available data. This bottleneck in data analysis hinders a comprehensive understanding of viral functions and their ecological impacts. To tackle this challenge, researchers like Livia Shakeli and her team have turned to artificial intelligence (AI), specifically protein language models. These models, akin to large language models used in natural language processing (e.g., ChatGPT), are designed to recognize patterns and relationships in vast datasets of protein sequences. By training these models on annotated viral protein sequences, they can infer the functions of new, unannotated sequences. In a proof of concept. Kelly's team trained neural networks with pre-trained protein language models on existing viral protein data. These models were then used to predict the functions of new viral proteins. This approach not only helps annotate unknown sequences but also reveals the underlying features that lead to specific annotations, aiding in the identification of candidate proteins of interest. For example, the team discovered a previously unrecognized integrase in marine picocyanobacteria Prochlorococcus and Synechococcus, which are abundant in global oceans. This integrase can move genes in and out of cells, potentially aiding these bacteria in adapting to environmental changes. Additionally, the models identified a novel viral capsid protein widespread in the oceans, with a unique gene arrangement suggesting diverse functions. Despite these advancements, many newly discovered viruses remain unclassified, with sequences that either match unknown protein families or have never been seen before. AI-driven protein language models hold promise in bridging this knowledge gap, offering insights into the roles and threats of uncharacterized viruses. While Kelly's study focused on marine viruses, the implications extend to human health, particularly the human gut microbiome. Viruses in the gut could potentially signal microbial stress during illness, providing new diagnostic avenues. However, the approach requires high-quality annotations, and ongoing efforts are improving these models by incorporating additional tasks, such as predicting protein structures. To maximize the potential of AI in viral research, it's crucial to make these tools available under fair data principles, ensuring data is findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. This will enable broader scientific collaboration and facilitate discoveries that can enhance human health and our understanding of microbial ecosystems. This summary is based on an article by Libby Shakeli from the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, republished by The Conversation, a nonprofit news organization dedicated to providing reliable analysis and insights. Thanks for watching.